So today I have a lot of different cleaning tasks that I get done. The first thing is cleaning out my bunnies cage. I've recently purchased these bunnies, literally they are only like 12 weeks old. They're both brothers and yeah, they're so cute. You can't tell them apart. One's called Rodney, one's called Ralph, but you literally cannot tell them apart. It's really, really, really difficult. But one does have slightly darker ears. But yeah, I start off the day by cleaning out their cage. It is surprising how quickly all of their like poo and weed just adds up and I do clean them out every few days because of that but I don't know maybe it's because they're bunnies I don't know but they like to run around outside as well don't worry it is an enclosed area they cannot escape and it's just a nice space for them to run around so I do often like leave the cage open um, just so that they can run around outside and they can run around inside so they do have lots of space so don't worry they're not kept in a hutch all the time because I know that people do worry about about pets having lots of space they can literally run around like inside the house outside like whenever they want pretty much if I'm not at home I won't do that but most of the time when I am at home or Jamie's at home we can do that today Jamie did help me with a lot of cleaning tasks which was good because I probably wouldn't have been able to get them all done if not so that was good but all I'm doing is sweeping out their cage then using this pet safe spray <laughs> no. I'm gonna have to keep him on there, he's falling off. <laughs> That's not your bed, mister. I clean all the food bowls, their water, and just anything else weekly just to make sure that everything's nice and clean and sanitized especially because their cage is outside i don't 100 percent sweep absolutely every particle out of their cage as long as it's pretty much clean then i will do they've got some bedding in their bed it is coming into summer i don't want them to be too warm so i don't put like horrific amounts of bedding in there and yeah they do make it quite nice and cozy so it is good i don't put too too much sawdust in because you know they're not hamsters, they don't start burrowing in their sawdust, you know, they might try and dig in the ground, but yeah, they don't need like tons and tons of sawdust, just a nice soft um, kind of flooring for them, and they can run around in my house on the carpet anyway, so it's completely fine. Um, but yeah, so this is me cleaning their cage out and making sure that it looks nice and yeah, we definitely need a good sweep up outside every day because they just get sawdust everywhere but I don't mind, you know, that's just what you have when you have pets, you have to clean up after them. I used to hoover once every two weeks and now I have to hoover pretty much every single day in my house just to make sure that it's alright. But yeah, this was the finished result of cleaning their cage. Then I decided to clean my hamster's cage, which is less hassle. Um, I just need to spot clean his cage, which is just to remove any of his bedding, any poos, any wheeze, give it a quick spray in some areas. Um, but I don't need to take all of it out and put it all back in like I do with their cage. So this is his bedding that I've made him and he will make his own little cozy bed and he burrows in the sawdust as well. Um, but yeah, that was pretty much all I needed to do for his cage. Now onto hoovering and mopping. So I, like I said, look how bad the carpet is for sawdust. The bunnies just bring it in. We also bring it in on our shoes and socks without even realizing, but never mind. It's, you know, just part of having pets or part of having a house in general, things just get untidy, but that's just life really. So yeah, I do do a bit of hoovering, which you'll see in a second. Notice that I hoover using the tube rather than like an attachment to it and I just find that this gets into the nooks and crannies a lot easier in my house and my flat is really really small anyway so it's really easy for me to just hoover like this and I just find this better for me and it means that I can also hoover cobwebs as well as I'm going along and I just hate 
big heavy hoovers where you're like pushing them around and there's just cables everywhere and it's just it's just a really stressful time for me so I actually really like my small hoover I get along with it well and yeah just a reminder if you've got a hoover clean the filter out because I did forget to do that and it does make a massive difference because I literally cleaned it out last week and yeah the power on my hoover was so much more when I did that so I would recommend but since having the bunnies I've only had them for about a week it just gets full up with sawdust and things but you know so be it I did used to keep the hoover in the garage and now I have to keep it in my flat because I'm using it so often um, but I do quite enjoy hoovering it's therapeutic I then mopped my floors with this method floor cleaner in the scent wild rhubarb. I really love this, like this makes the place smell really nice. You just pour a little bit onto the floor and then just get a mop and just mop the floor. I used to use boiling water and then a mixture of a few different cleaning products and then I would mop the floor and the floor was just left quite wet and you know, it's just not great, like it was quite soaked. So I preferred it when, you know, I could just use this product and the floor would just, be nice and clean and it would dry super super quick so I really love this product and it has actually lasted me a really long time as well. So Jamie was doing a little bit of window cleaning. This is something that we haven't done in a long time. I used a window cleaning spray, or he used a window cleaning spray that I bought from Lidl, so just a cheap one. And he also cleaned like the um, edges of the windows as well. I can't remember what they're called, but these white sections of the window. Um, and yeah, now I can see out of the window so much better. The bunnies are just chilling, you know, watching everybody else clean up after them. Um, but yeah, we just wanted to get this done and it was quite dirty and it's one of those things that you don't really notice But it actually makes a massive difference when you do actually clean it And especially this window in my living room look how dirty that is like when you wipe it You start to realize like how bad it is But you like I said don't notice it unless you actually do clean it and then you're like oh damn I can actually see now out of the window so that was a good job for us to get done every single week I like to do something different that you know I don't do weekly for example cleaning out my fridge or cleaning my oven or something that's not something I do weekly but it's something kind of random to do this at the front door was disgusting like I don't even know how that kind of happened or how I didn't notice to clean that before but yeah this was grim so thankfully Jamie saw that that needed doing and yeah I went and got a toothbrush because a toothbrush is needed for this. Obviously not one that we use um, because that would be gross, but toothbrushes come in so much handy like when you're cleaning. Like please use a toothbrush if you don't when you're cleaning because they just make such a difference and they just get the dirt up. So yeah, look how bad that is. Like that really is quite disgusting. That must have been built up since I've lived here, which is like two and a half years, a very long time. So yeah, it just looks a lot cleaner. Not perfect, but much cleaner. The carpet is also hoovered as well. I didn't show me doing that because honestly it takes ages to film whilst hoovering and cleaning, but that was done. And then I took this fabric refreshener and also an air freshener and I spray the carpets with the fabric freshener and this just makes the carpet smell really, really fresh. I also spray things like tea towels or bathroom towels rugs mats i also spray my sofa and it just gives that really nice fresh smell and it lasts a little bit longer and then obviously i use the air freshener in every single room just to freshen the air and i do this once a week and it makes a big difference Now I use this raspberry, raspberry and juniper berry Zaflora. Zaflora mixed with raspberry makes raspberry. Um, yeah, I love Zaflora, I really do. And basically you pop a little bit into a bowl, add some boiling water and then the steam will come up into the air. I then put the bowl in every single room just to kind of scent the air. Once it's cooled down, I will then use my method spray, all purpose spray, mixed with some of that Zaflora water and I will just go around all of the surfaces in my flat 
and on my bins I'll give them a wipe down, on windowsill sides I will give them a wipe down just to kind of make sure that everything's clean. I also clean my sink um, in the kitchen and also in the bathroom so as you can see this gets quite dirty and it did really need doing. So we're now approaching the end of this video, thank you for watching, there will be another cleaning video next week so please subscribe and stick around for that, have a good day and I will see you then, goodbye.